Hello everyone, I'm Robin De Silva. I think you remember me from my last video about animal classification. And I'm from our YouTube channel, Robin and Hiron. Today I'm going to be talking about hybrid animals. Today we're going to get to more to the scientific side than animal classification. So I hope you're ready. Before we start this, I want to ask you a question. Have you ever heard of hybrids? I'm sure you've heard of hybrid vehicles and all that technological stuff. But in this presentation, I'm going to be talking something about something way more different than you expect. So let's get started. This is about living, breathing hybrid animals. I think you're wondering what an hybrid animal is. Well, I can answer that question by saying an animal that has parents from two species with the same genus or has parents from two subspecies of the same species is a hybrid animal. They are interspecific and intraspecific hybrids respectively. So how does hybridization occur? In both ways actually, naturally and through human initiation. When considering naming hybrids, the species and gender of the parents depends greatly. The father giving the first half of his species name and the mother giving the second half of hers. The increasing of hybrid animals is a strong indication that of climate change. Some examples of hybrid animals are Woodcock hybrid, Gabino viper, Liger, Roller bear, Wolfin, London Palace cichlid, Flowerhorn cichlid, etc. Today I will be explaining them to you. So let's move on to the popular hybrids. Here we have the Czechoslovakian wolf dog. The Czechoslovakian wolf dog found its origin in the Czechoslovak in Czechoslovakia in 1955 due to breeding a, a female German Shepherd and a male Eurasian wolf. It is equipped with a large size and wolf-like appearance and capabilities. Adult females grow 60 to centimeters, while males reach 65 centimeters in height in the withers. And as for weight, females weigh 20 kilograms and males weigh 36 kilograms. Czechoslovakian wolf dogs are reckless, very faithful and active characters. They are excellent pet dogs as well. Speaking of pets, as for care, regular brushing, occasional bathing, probably, probably once or twice a month, and active exercise is a must if you are willing to keep it. You do have to provide them with positive reinforcement, socialization and other dog to other dogs and people and bite inhib inhibition since these guys are reckless as I mentioned earlier. Mind you, these dogs are for experienced and dedicated owners only. They have, they have few health issues. One of them is hip dysplasia and they live a life of 13 to 16 years. The, se the second animal we're going to be talking about is ligers. The Liger's origin is unknown in most cases, but there are many exceptions such as India where it is obvious, an African zoo, a zoo in Britain, etc. But what we do know is that the Liger is the result of breeding a male lion with a female tigress. There are features including their extremely large size, similarity to lions more than tigers, but show faint stripes and spots which tigers showcase. Adult female ligers weigh 208 kilograms while males weigh a whopping 726 kilograms and all ligers are 12 feet long and 6 feet tall when fully grown. Fun fact, despite being the largest carnivore on land, these, these hybrid felines are social and compatible with all other big cats and tend to live in tribes like lions, but some possess their mother's behavior, the, ti the tiger, to live a solitary life. They are also timid trainable and active big cats. They don't have health, ha health problems so far, but they suffer emotional problems because their parents display vast difference in behavior like, like tigers swim and lions don't, don't. See what I mean? A healthy liger can live 20, 20, 20 to 25 years. Other relatives of this phenomenal super cat include tigons, liligers, tiligers, titigans and litigans. I will explain more but it would just make me dizzy. Next we have the flowerhorn cichlid. If a trimax cichlid was bred with a red devil cichlid and then bred with a blood red parrot cichlid, voila, you get a flowerhorn cichlid. 
This is an ornamental fish which is greatly admired for its stunning color pattern and the large nuchal hump on its head by the fish keepers hobbies and aquarists from all around the world. While other hybrids are named after their parent species name, the flower horn was named after its looks. The flower horn was bred in Taiwan and Malaysia around 1993. The new column on the head, head, vivid and beautiful colorations and large size are hard to miss. Females grow one foot while males grow four inches longer. Flower horns are aggressive fish but can live with other aggressive fish like oscars, jaguar cichlids and etc. There are also fantastic pet fish as well which uh, which will need a minimum tank size of 75 gallons if kept alone. It doesn't do well with its own kind especially males. These gorgeous fish can live up to 12 years long. Here we have the growler bear. Sadly the growler bear had had to be killed to find its first spe specimen. The first specimen of a growler bear was found in 2006 in the Canadian Arctic. A growler bear's father would be a grizzly bear and its mother would be a polar bear. The growler bear's physical traits are intermediate between the parents, like the body size being larger than grizzlies but smaller than polar bears, head sizes between broad grizzly heads and lean polar bear heads. Having the long neck like a polar bear's and small shoulder humps like grizzlies and display soles partially covered in hair. Growler bears can reach 3.3 to 5 feet in height and 6.5 to 10 feet in length and 181 to 680 kilograms in weight. In weight when fully grown. These hybrids display hunting skills of both parents but completely act like polar bears. A growler bear can live 25 years of age. Next, next is about this reptile, the Gambino viper. The Gambino viper was found, found their, had found their origin in the forests of Africa. They are the result of breeding a male gaboon viper with a female rhino viper. It includes a velvet, a velvet pattern and beautiful colorations on its body. The prominent nasal horns on the tip of its head are hard to miss. Its large size and hinge fangs will send chills down most people's spine if seen. A venomous bite from the snake consists in cardiotoxins, neurotoxins, hemotoxins which causes cardiac arrest, failing of body systems, destruction of flesh and blood cells and hematuria could end up in death if not treated. I'm telling you, getting bitten bit from this snake is no joke. Gambino vipers are shy creatures and stay away from humans as much as possible, but may attack if threatened. This hybrid serpent can live up to 18 years of age. This is the wolfin. The first baby wolfin was born in Tokyo Sea World in 1981. A male false killer whale and a female common bottlenose dolphin creates a wolfin. A wolfin can grow 12 to 20 feet in length and is jet black in color. They are playful, lovable, trainable, social, caring and active mammals. A healthy wolfin can live up to 40, 40 years of age. Currently only two wolfins live in Hawaii. Next I'm going to be talking about the blood red parrot cichlid. Blood red parrot cichlids found its origin in Thailand, 1986. The hybrid was thought to be an offspring of a Midas cichlid and a redneck cichlid. Blood parrots are born with many physical deformities, such as a parrot beak shaped mouth with a narrow vertical opening which cannot close, a deformed nuchal hump, compressed vertebrae, deformed swim bladders, and deformed irises, which means the eye. Other than their deformities, they possess striking red, orange and yellow coloration all over their body. They grow 18, 8 inches in length, 8 inches in length. Blood parrot cichlids are usually active and aggressive to other fish but won't do any harm because they are deformed because of their deformed mouths. As for care, you do need to provide them with a 30 gallon fill, 30 gallon tank per fish, high volume filtration, specific food because of their deformed mouths, minimum decor and lots of space. These fish live a lifespan of 10 to 15 years. So the next question
question that comes into mind is what are the advantages and disadvantages of breeding hybrid animals? I'm going to talk about that right now. So the advantages of breeding a hybrid animal is passing a lot of favorable traits of specific animals and prolonging the survival of endangered species, which is really useful at these times because poachers hunt down animals for sport, for money and and, and in animal traffic, most animals die. There is only one advantage in this, as far as we know. So let's move on to these advantages, which is a lot. In the disadvantage section is, almost all hybrids are bad parents, because they are equipped with parenting skills of two species and don't know what to do after their offspring is, uh, is born. And most hybrids aren't recognized as a different species, since they can't produce offspring of their own. The original species which was used to create these hybrid animals are slowly getting extinct because, they're, they're, because most of their purpose is to get these hybrid animals up and running. The next one is if hybrid animals are let loose into the environment, they could make a big impact on the environment by, environment by damaging the ecosystem due to fierce competition arranged by them and destroying this completely destroying the food chain but in on other hands we have growler bears uh, which were naturally occurred they don't cause any problem they completely act like polar bears and they are, and they do not do anything to the ecosystem that's the end of the video guys hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed this video please subscribe like comment down below if while you're commenting comment some improvements that I should make so we could I could give you better videos in the future and don't forget to watch my other video about animal classification I'll leave a link up here somewhere so I'll see you next time in another video bye